Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How y'all doing today? My name is Professor Brian Terman, and I'm, I'm honored to be here to speak in this such an auspicious occasion today. I'd like to thank the local and state chapter of the NAACP as well as the Moral One D organizers all day long. As well as you all for spending your time here today. I was born and bred in Statesville. I grew up in the Parkwood Village housing community, better known around these parts as Buffalo Shows, Rose Projects, or just Buffalo. I'm a proud graduate of Statesville Senior High School, and I currently teach in the English department at North Carolina A&T State University. I love North Carolina, from its majestic mountains to its beautiful foothills down to the beaches on the coast. I see North Carolina as the jewel of the Mid-Atlantic. But I'm here to tell you today in terms of how we treat our public school <coughs> students and teachers, this, this diamond has some flaws. It, it's, it's a little bad. For example, the National Education Association tells us that North Carolina is about the 28th largest state in terms of land mass, we're about the 10th largest in terms of total student population, we're about the 38th largest in terms of how we educate our students, in terms of how many students are actually in school and operate in districts. That means we're a pretty big state. We're about 13th in total personal spending and about 35th in what we spend totally per student. So even in this bad economy, we're not as poor as we may think. But when it comes to how we fund public school teachers and students, we lag way, way behind, friends. We're horribly behind. But when it comes to how we fund public school teachers and students, we lag way, way behind, friends. We're horribly behind. It appears to me that in North Carolina, we're about 48th out of 50 states plus Puerto Rico in terms of what we pay our teachers. That's 48 out of 51. So in a state that has, in a state that's 10th ranked in terms of the number of public school students, we're 38th in terms of the number of operating public school districts, we're only 48th as it pertains to how we pay our students and teachers. It's clearly a problem here, friends. North Carolina has some major trouble. If we look at what we do with higher education, as somebody who stands here today as a professor at a and it might be a little sacrilegious to talk about what we do with our money, but North Carolina ranks 22nd in terms of what we spend on higher education. That's 22nd, higher education. We rank 16th in what we spend in locally and state government on higher education. But we're 45th on what we spend for public school. So we spend more money educating those that come from outside of North Carolina. And at a we have a lot of out-of-state students, and this is clearly a problem. I believe in the old African adage that it takes a village to raise a child, and as an educator, I would say it takes a village to educate a child. But it appears that the big chiefs down in Raleigh, Macquarie and them, they don't seem to believe this adage. They seem to only concentrate on a particular group of students, and those aren't the students in our public schools. My friends, We've got to show our students that the village is still intact. We've got to show them that we are the village. We determine how our students are educated. We need teachers that are properly motivated. We need teachers that are well trained. And yes, friends, we need teachers that are well paid. It's time in North Carolina to put our proverbial money where our mouths are. We know where Governor McCory's money is. Let's tell Governor McCoy today, let's put some money back in North Carolina's public schools and teachers. Thank you all. God bless you.